So hello guys, this is the member Piggy Fi here once again. I'm back at you with another video, and in this video, it's not going to be about play for free specifically, but it's going to be about how to correctly configure your mouse and your mouse sensitivity because a lot of people tend to have problems with this. Um, I struggled with this when I first started, and uh, these um, little things helped me get uh, my aim actually better than it was before. Uh, I think I have fairly good um, aim. And uh, it's all because of these things. Um, so yeah. Well, first get into it. You um, you need to use a good mouse. Uh, most people use uh, a regular mice. Uh, it's not bad at all. But basically, if you don't, u if you use a generic mouse um, which doesn't have any options on it, um, you're not going to be playing as good as you would be with a really good gaming mouse. So I do recommend that if you like. Um, playing FPS games on your computer, I do recommend investing in a gaming mouse. So um, in this video, I'm going to be using the Steel Series kind of U2, which is my new mouse that I got, I think, like three weeks ago. Uh, I really enjoy it. I highly recommend it to anyone that wants to purchase a mouse. But yeah, all right. First, um, what brand do you use? Do you use Razer, Steel Series, or Logitech? Well, chances are that. Um, if you purchase a gaming mouse, it will come with software. So check which mouse you are using. For instance, if I'm using a Razer mouse, I would go to my browser. And what I would do is I would search just Razer. Um, this Razer. And uh, you see here, RazerZone.com. And I would just open it and just search for the driver. So I would go to support. And I would search for, uh, let me see. My internet can go a bit faster than uh, I would search for peripherals and uh, mice. Come on, I would search for mice and let's say um, I choose my mouse that I had previously, which is the Razer Death Adder. I would click on it and I would just, um, you know, software and drivers and I would just download the drivers because um, with these drivers you can configure everything from the mouse itself from the speed of the mouse which is usually um, set in DPI which stands for dots per inch uh, I'll show you right now um, my software I use is the SteelSeries engine uh, which if it opens you can see um, this is the software that I got well basically I can configure everything here from my DPI uh, it says CPI here that's what SteelSeries uses but usually manufacturers use DPI basically the higher DPI I use, the faster my mouse is going to move. Now, a lot of people claim to say that the higher DPI you use, so dots per inch, the more accurate you're going to be. Um, I don't find this necessarily true, but I do find that it kind of helps getting that those precision shots because you can move, um, you have more pixels to move across, I guess. Um, it's It could be a placebo effect. I am not sure about this, but I would just recommend setting your, um, you know, like DPI of your mouse. Uh, it usually comes with like a little slider. I would recommend to set it at around like 1800 or 1200. Um, those tend to be the good ones, um, not too fast, not too slow. So I don't recommend that you use like something like 5000. That's just extremely fast. I don't know how anybody can be accurate with that. But I basically recommend that you use something around 1600. Um, you can see here I have two settings which I can switch with a button on my mouse. Um, when I'm on my desktop, you can see my mouse is fairly slow. I have it at 800. But when I go in game, I press the little button and my mouse suddenly gets a lot faster. Now the pulling rate is set at 1000 Hz, which is basically how fast your, your mouse gives off information to your computer. Um, so I would set it to the highest possible, which is uh, 1000 Hz hertz which is basically one millisecond um, this allows you your mouse to send the fastest amount of data to your computer but keep in mind some pcs that are really slow might lag a bit because of this so you can set it lower if you want and keep in mind usually if you change the pulling rate you have to restart your computer for it to um you know take in take effect Right now, so as I said, I would recommend something like 1800 DPI or 1200 or lower, um, depending on what you like. 
but I would just recommend around 1700, 1800, 1200, something somewhere around that. Not too high, not too low. Well, uh, let me close this out. Um, hold on, let me do it right. Um, now, the next thing is what you want to do is go down to your search bar and type in paint. Now, as you can see here, what you want to do is just, just start drawing circles. Um, are your circles nice and round or are they really, really jagged? Well, what you want the circles to be is really nice and round as they are um, what, what I'm doing. Uh, they might not be perfectly round because my hand is not perfect, but um, just they don't have to be like this. If that's the case, then that's not good. Uh, because what might be happening is you have configured your mouse settings not not right. So what you want to do is go down to your search bar and type in mouse or uh, whatever language you have. Just type in mouse and click on it. It will usually bring you to this um, this this screen, which has mouse properties. Now what you want to go to is go to pointer options, and this is one of the most important things ever. Usually it will has this enhanced pointer position set to on. Which is really bad. You don't want to have that on. What um, enhanced pointer position does is, if you if I move my mouse really slowly like this, it will travel a certain distance. But if I do it faster, it will suddenly jump from here all the way to here, and that's not what you want. Because for instance, um, you get used to the way your mouse uh, sensitivity is. But f let's say you're getting shot from behind and you turn really fast. Well, suddenly your mouse will jump and you will overshoot him and you won't kill him and he will kill you. So what I recommend is, of course, whoops, what's happening now? Um, let me quickly, um, I use Windows 7, uh, Windows 8, so I'm not quite used to it yet. So let me open this again. All right. So you want to go to pointer options and turn off enhanced pointer position. Uh, if you want to know exactly what it's called, it's called a mouse acceleration. And also, I forgot to mention this, but usually in your mouse software, it will say somewhere mouse acceleration. You want to set that to zero. You don't want to turn that on at all, which is um, exactly what I just said. Uh, if you turn slow, if you move your mouse slow, it will tra travel a certain distance. But if you move it even faster, it will suddenly jump. And uh, that's just not good. So I would just recommend to turn that off. Now, also what you want to do is this slider is one of the most important things if i set this to fast you will see what happens remember how my circles were nice and round well look at this right now they are really jagged and really bad this is really bad for your accuracy i wouldn't be able to aim like this at all because it will be jumping all over the place what i recommend you do is set it at exactly the middle which is six six ticks um from the first one so one, two, three, four, five, six. This ensures that you have one-to-one -one mouse ratio. So exactly what you do does not get altered at all. For instance, if you turn it up, your mouse will start to jump pixels and it won't be exactly accurate. But if you set it too low, um, a lot of times it will either like move to the left faster than it moves to the right or something like that. So I would just recommend sticking to default and staying to the middle. This is what a lot of pro gamers use, and I do recommend that you do this as well. So as you can see, my circles are nice and round compared to this. Now, let's talk about sensitivity. Uh, first, you want to make sure that you have done everything I just told you. Turn off the mouse acceleration, um, set it to the middle, and uh, configure your DPI correctly. Now, uh, a way to change your sensitivity in, um, what's it called? To change your sensitivity in um, Play for Free, it's really awkward. It's with a little slider. Um, well, I'm gonna open Battle for Play Free whilst I'm talking right now. But in Play for Free, you have a weir weird little slider that you have to open, uh, that you have to slide around to configure your sensitivity, which is not good at all. You cannot configure your sensitivity really properly using that. So I don't recommend that you set your sensitivity via that. I would recommend, however, to set your sensitivity via that roughly, so not, you know, like fine tuning it. So, as you can see here, the sensitivity mine's all the way, um, you know, it's really low. 
I like really low mouse sensitivity because that's exactly what you want for FPS shooters. You don't want your mouse sens sensitivity to be uh, one swipe being like A360s. I mean, why would you want to do A360s with one mouse swipe? That doesn't make sense. You want to be as accurate as you can and, um, you know, like, because most of your firefights are fought within your field of vision. So you almost never need to do a complete 360 to kill your enemy. I mean, that wouldn't make any sense. So what I recommend you do is set your sensitivity via this roughly to where you want it so it feels kind of good but you want it really slow you don't want it extremely slow however you want it just about right what i recommend to do is um just take your uh, whatever you put your mouse on whether it's your table or your mouse pad uh, you want to just drag it from the, the right to the left really slowly and you want to be able to make a complete 360 with one full swipe from the left to the right but with one quick swipe, you want to be able to do a 180. I uh, will show examples of it in game um, in a couple of moments. But first, I want to show you how to you can configure sensitivity, um, your know, how to fine tune your sensitivity. Now, what you want to do is you want to click on Documents, and then you want to click on Battlefield Play for Free, and then you see here Controls. You want to right click it and click on Open with, and then select no Notepad. Now here you can see everything, you don't have to pay attention to all these things. Uh, what we are looking for is this. This is the sensitivity that you get in game. So basically if I change this to a lower or uh, faster, uh, lower or higher, a higher um, value, uh, the higher I put this, the higher my sensitivity will be in game. The lower, lower I put this, the lower my sensitivity will be in game. So I would recommend setting your sensitivity via this. And then going to here and fine tuning your sensitivity. As you can see, I have so many numbers. You know, I have exactly fine tuned my sensitivity just the way I like it. If you want to copy my sensitivity, you can. This is my sensitivity, um, what I use in game. And my DPI that I use is 1600. So you can try that out and see how it works. You might like it, you might not. Because after all, your sensitivity is always personal preference. Now I'm going to head over kind of got screwed up um, when I was oh, what are these guys going to do I hope they're not going to stat pad uh, but I'm um, back I'm back now because my recording screwed up but basically as I was trying to say is you want to be able to do a full 360 with a mouse swipe all the way from the right of the mouse pad to the left of the mouse pad so basically I have put my mouse all the way at the right of the mouse pad right now and if I move it completely from the left, from the right to the left, uh, I will do a complete 360 as I will show right now. So I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm and I'm almost at the left of the mousepad, and now I'm completely at the left of my mousepad. So as you can see, that's a complete 360. Um, nothing too, nothing like this or like this. It's just a complete 360. And now I will show you what a quick mouse swipe should be. So I have my mouse at the middle of my mouse pad right now, which is a pretty, you know, common place that I put my mouse pad. So, you know, I'm walking, I'm walking, and suddenly I get shot from behind. So I want to be able to do a quick swipe and be able to do a 180, not a complete 360 or something, because that wouldn't make sense. If the guy's behind me, I want to be able to quick swipe and kill the guy, instead of having to look for the guy while I'm like... I do a 360 and oh, oh, the guy is here and then get killed by the guy. That's not what we want. We want to be able to do a 180 with one mouse swipe. So, to quickly summarize, a quick, a quick mouse swipe should be a 180 and a full right to left mouse swipe should be a 360. If you follow this, um, you should be able to configure your mouse sensitivity correctly. And uh, I'll be heading back to my desktop right now. So, see you guys in a moment. Uh, so let's quickly summarize what I just said uh, You want to download the driver of your mouse if you have a gaming mouse uh, By going to your manufacturer's website and download downloading a driver for your mouse from there You want to set your DPI in between a thousand and two thousand um, If you put it higher than that it tends to not be as accurate in my opinion You want to go to mouse um, in your search bar and you want to go to pointer options and turn off enhanced pointer position and you want to select the pointer speed on the middle 
and you want to also turn off mouse acceleration via your um, um, software of your mouse uh, so that you don't get any mouse acceleration at all which is really bad you want to be you want to go to paint uh, you want to be able to draw really nice circles and not jagged um, if they are jagged I would recommend going back to your mouse uh, settings and trying to turn it down or up a bit uh, to where they are not as jagged anymore well I really hope that these tips helped you um, I always see people running wrong mouse sensitivities and they always tend to you know be not accurate at all and having a really good mouse sensitivity is a really important factor uh, of playing a FPS shooter so I highly recommend that you set it to something that you're comfortable with but also set it kind of low and not too fast at all and use the example that I used in game a quick mouse swipe should be a 180 and a full left to right mouse swipe should be a complete 360 well hope you enjoyed this informational video about how to set your sensitivity this has been the man by Pikify and I'm out